Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. So before we begin today, I'm going to ask you to please like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment later if you so feel inclined to do so. I'm trying to get this video out uh, into the YouTube algorithm so that I can help as many people as possible. I appreciate you. Today's video is about feeling stuck in your life uh, and how to find your life purpose, what you should do. You're probably watching this video uh, for a reason. You know, if you clicked on the video and the title got you, it's because you need to hear this message. Uh, and I'm here to do my best and share my journey uh, in order to open that up for you so you can explore what you're meant for in this life. You might be watching this video because maybe you are just starting out. You know, you might be in college trying to figure out what the next step is. You're about to graduate. Uh, maybe you've already achieved some success, some, some success. You've got a family. Um, you know, you've got career success, you made some money, but there's still just something inside of you that's missing. Uh, you still feel unfulfilled for whatever reason. You have to ask yourself why that is. The good news is, if you clicked on this video and you're hearing me right now, you are definitely on the right path because it all starts with asking yourself a question. What is my life's purpose? And that's really where you've got to start. You know, what am I meant for? So after everything you've achieved or what you're trying to figure out, you just have this feeling inside of you that man I'm meant for more life's got to be you know more than just this whatever you're really good at and whatever you're really passionate about chances are wherever they intersect uh, it's something along along the lines of doing this so uh, I'll give you my own personal example uh, right now I just moved back to San Diego it's uh, sitting here in the middle of March 2022 I moved back in July 2021. Uh, originally I went down to college here in San Diego and for a while I was unhappy. I was you know out of college. I graduated. I didn't know what I was gonna do and I was just kind of partying like everyone else. I didn't really know what was going on. So I did some soul searching and I was like God what am I meant for? Why is everyone else you know in their career? They know what they want to do and all that. Um, chances are what I realized now is that maybe they didn't know what they wanted to do. They were just doing what they were told to do. Maybe you feel that way as well and you resonate with that so after doing some soul searching my process was you know for a while for months actually I guess had it been like two three months I was sitting there and I was like god like what do I want to do with my life like what am I meant for like why am I here and after asking myself this question over and over for a couple of months and just trying to like think about it sit there by myself and figure it out you know after one day I was like man screw it I am you know, I am done. Uh, I need to go and just go and work out. <clears throat> I need to take a break. In that moment when I said that, and I was like, I just need to go and work out, the light bulb clicked. And I was like, ding, ding, ding. That's what you should do. That's what you should get into is fitness. You should get into personal training. Uh, and I started to think about it and some of these things that I had written down from that Venn diagram. And I realized that you know, I've been an athlete my whole life, sports, physical activity, whether it was like skateboarding, rollerblading, uh, football, soccer, hockey, all these different things I did. It was always this outlet for me. It was always this, you know, safe place to enjoy myself and really release any thoughts of the, you know, of pressures of life, I guess you could say. Uh, you know, it's just always something that I enjoy doing, playing sports and, you know, and then after high school, I really got into working out. I was like, God, this makes me feel great. So, you know, I started to think, okay, what kind of career can I make out of this? You know, what is the money going to be like? Is it possible? What do I need to do? And I just started to think about it. But it, before I jump into that, I want you to understand the process of it, that it took me a good two, three months of sitting there with that question. What do I want to do? What is my purpose? What am I here for? And what you'll find out is that, you know, in today's world, we're just so distracted, we're inundated. And it took a couple of months because I had to get quiet and sit with that question for a while. Uh, sometimes it comes quick and it comes right away. And you might know within, you know, a day, a week, uh, or it might take even longer like it took me and it takes a couple of months but you'll know when you're on the right track because you'll start to get really excited about the idea. And then if every time you're asking this question, it keeps coming up, it keeps coming up, you're definitely on the right track. A good thing to think about or uh, something else, you know, that would kind of be a ping to know that you're on the right track and this is something you would really like to do. Think about those times when you've been in a complete flow state, 
when you've been doing something and you're losing track of time and you're like, oh my gosh, it's already been three, four hours and not so much like a distraction thing, like, uh, I don't know, you know, freaking binging on Instagram, like, you know, or maybe, maybe that's what you want to do, right? I mean, who knows? The possibilities are endless. You could sit there and do, uh, you know, social media marketing. Maybe that is what you want to do and you lose track of time. But chances are it's an activity that when you do it, you really are in this flow state. You always talk about athletes being in the zone. That's really what it is. You're in this zone. So random example, maybe maybe you love uh, like knitting or crocheting, right? It's just something that you like doing and you're sitting there and you're into it and you're just like going about your business, you know, making a scarf or whatever, a hat. You're like, gosh, I love doing this. And it's just peaceful, you feel relaxed. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh my gosh, I've been doing this for like three hours. <laughs> so that's a good sign. Things like that, that's when you know when you're in that flow state. So think about activities in which it was timeless and there was no rush. You were completely relaxed, enjoying the activity for what it was and you were in the moment. That's a huge sign that you are tapping on something that you're meant for that you really want to do. Another sign that it's the right thing to do and that you're on the right track, chances are whatever that activity is, is something that you're really good at. Uh, something that you've always been kind of quote unquote naturally good at. For whatever reason you've been you know, drawn to that activity, you've always you know, liked it, you've had fun doing it, and it's never really been this hardcore, you know, struggle or push or like, oh God, I gotta learn. It's just easy. It's easy. You're really good at it. You're naturally inclined. Uh, again, I'll share my example of working out, knowing that personal training, uh, physical fitness, people's bodies, not only am I passionate about it, um, and I geek out on the exercise science part of it, uh, I truly enjoy it. Um, the first time I stepped into a gym and I trained at a big box gym, you know, just to get my feet wet and work with the general population. I had my whole plan mapped out um, that I originally wanted to go out into uh, a professional sports team and be a trainer or strength and conditioning coach for a trainer, or excuse me, as a college or a professional team. Um, it's my little dog right here. This is Manny boy. Manny, say hi. <laughs> I'm just going to have him sit in my lap while I talk. He wants some attention right now. So um, back to the point I'm making, uh, you will, you know, really enjoy it and you'll really be good at it so it's timeless you lose track of time and you really like doing it those are two big signs another big sign that you're on the right track to finding your life purpose is you'll have a sensation to where you'll feel extreme personal joy in what you do uh, and you'll just know it really is this kind of electric feeling uh, the two examples for me you know, I, I know that I'm here to really do two things. It's, it is personal training, uh, helping people with their body. It's also with their mind uh, and do pub to do public speaking, which I've done before. Uh, the example, the two examples I'll give is again, first time I stepped in the big box gym, and I didn't know, I didn't even have any clients. I never trained. I was just sitting there walking through in my little uniform. I stepped on the floor on the gym floor as a trainer, and I immediately knew, man, this is where I'm supposed to be. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, this is exactly where I'm at. And it was just this extreme sense of gratitude and joy of like, oh my God, I made it. Uh, not once in my life did I ever, have I ever had a session, regardless of how tired I was feeling before or whatever, or burnt out, was I like, oh God, I gotta go to work, I gotta do this again. It was like, hell yeah, like let's go do this. I'm gonna go work out with you know John and Sally or whatever. Um, because the work is very rewarding. It's uh, contributing my gifts, my skills, my knowledge to helping people improve their lives on levels that really I couldn't have ever imagined. Uh, the other example why I know I meant for public speaking, um, you know, the universe will really send you signs. They'll send you these little pings, as we call them. Uh, and, you know, people have always told me I have a, a great voice for public speaking and a, and a personality for it and stuff. But I remember when I was a sophomore in high school, and when I was a sophomore in high school, um, you know, I was a young punk, really insecure, right? So I just had like a big ego at, at the time, as a lot of young men do. And one of my good buddies was running for, you know, ASB, Associated Student Body, the whole president, vice president class deal. I never had any interest or ever in any type of student body, student government activities. But since he was doing it, I was like, you know what, let me run for a position. I bet you I could run. Now at the time, since I was young, it was more of an ego-based thing like, oh, this is a popularity contest, you know, let me show I could win and whatnot. But 
to the point of finding my life purpose and having it be a clear and direct sign of physical sensation that you know you're on the right track. When I got up to speak in front of my classmates, and I don't know, it must have been five, six, seven hundred people sitting in the auditorium, it felt so natural to me. Never in my life had I ever done any real public speaking. I had done class projects in front of like, you know, a group of 20, 30 people, and that felt naturally natural to me. I never had a fear of public speaking and getting up in front of people. But when I got in front of the you know, the crowd and I was at the podium, I remember exactly what I was wearing and how I felt I was wearing these like baggier blue jeans and these like brown lug boots and I had this like gray echo sweater on with a, you know, this like black trim type deal and I thought I was looking fly, I thought I was awesome and uh, but I got up and what I spoke of, I didn't write anything down, it just felt so naturally. I talked about my leadership and sports positions and about how I really wanna help people and I know I can contribute. I just knew that I was doing the right thing and that was the first ping that I had. I was like, God, this is so natural to me. That was that was interesting. And then reflecting back on it now and the first time I went around with public speaking, that was a clear sign that I was like, oh damn, this is, this is something that I need to pay attention to. And it feels natural to me that I really enjoy. So again, you know, something you really enjoy it's timeless and you're really, really good at it. You're just naturally good at it. It feels good. Uh, you might be an amazing baker. <laughs> I'm serious. You might love baking cookies and you just do it for fun because you like the process of measuring and like the smells or whatever. You know what I mean? People make tons of money doing bake, you know, bakery stuff, whatever. You Again, going back to the scarf knitting, you might be like, oh, it's stupid. I could never make money. Uh, Go on Etsy, man. People be making rings and all kinds of stuff. So the possibilities are endless. And that is really the next point I wanna say is where you're at in life, especially if you're more established, you have a family, you have a full-time job, other responsibilities, organizations you belong to, your ego is immediately gonna say, you can't do that, you can't do that, you gotta do this, this, and this, because you've built this lifestyle, uh, and you've gotta afford, you know, you gotta pay for your mortgage and your car payment, and you gotta blah, 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 blah. That's all BS, man. What you're doing is you're immediately setting yourself up and putting roadblocks and limitations in your mind because you know it's cheesy but it's true where there is a will there's a way and if you're really serious about making a change what you'll do is you will figure out how to maneuver these situations because what you want to do if this really is the grand vision and dream of your life let me put it in perspective what if it takes five years you know, to build this dream life, right? Because you have all these other responsibilities and you can only chip away at the block little by little. Well, so what? What after? What if after five years, all of a sudden you have complete freedom, you are completely fulfilled and excited to get up and do what you do every single day because that is what you're meant for. That is what you are here for on earth to do. And I think people have many purposes and you know, there isn't just one destination. It's really what we choose. Uh, but if you're feeling stuck, open your mind and understand that you can do it. It's just gonna take time. Uh, the example I'll get is I'm in the middle of a transition right now myself. You know, 2020, 2021, um, it's just been a crazy journey for me. And here I am just starting to get back into personal training, doing this YouTube channel to film workouts and also to explore my options of public speaking and expressing myself and using my voice, right? Just emanating my truth, and that's what it's about. Now, I'd love to do this full time. I would love to speak in front of organizations again. Um, I used to have a podcast. I wrote a book, which I'm, I'm, it's on Amazon, but I'm gonna re-release it. That's another story for another time. Um, and I'm actually just gonna give it out for free when I release it this time, because um, I'm gonna do it the right way. So, again, another story for another time. Uh, but now that I am wanting to transition from, you know, just day to day paying the bills, and I'm I'm in San Diego right now. I'm just waiting tables, man. I'm waiting tables to pay my bills, but I've reconnected with my purpose again. That this is what I did the last time I was in San Diego, and I moved up to LA for. I had been through this process of soul searching, and I'm just so grateful to be back here, understanding that this is what I want to do. This is what I meant for in my life. So the transition part of it all these roadblocks. I was like, oh, how do I do this? You know, what am I supposed to do? It's gonna take time to transition and build it. I, um, you know, I'll share, I, it's funny, I, I got so excited and lit up 
uh, about reconnecting with my purpose that I put in my two weeks and I was like, I'm just gonna go in head first. And then I realized like, oh dang, I need to go back and be humble and just go down to part time for now. So I have time and space to do some of these things uh, like renew my certifications, um, you know, research properly how I'm gonna build the actual business side of it, all these other things. Point being is it's gonna take me time and I can't rush into it. So I want you to understand with all that said that you can do it, you just got to take your time, come up with a structured plan and build the foundation and over time making all these little gradual steps you will find yourself in a place of happiness and fulfillment. I know because this is what I did when I originally moved up to LA from San Diego and I built that life for myself and magically it's funny everything kind of fell into place. Uh, so when it was time for me to move from San Diego, I was just talking to my best friend He was like I moved over to Hermosa Beach. Um, I have an extra bedroom come and stay here. You can pay rent uh, The place is awesome um, Research gyms and I was like, oh, this is a super popular big box gym. They probably get a lot of business It's an affluent beach community. I got a job. There's a trainer. It fell into place I wanted to be a strength and conditioning coach one of my buddies was the assistant athletic director of USC at the time so even though I didn't go to the school, he got me an internship there and I got to experience that lifestyle. So things will start to fall into place, but that was a process over eight months of planning, of getting my certification, talking to my buddy, setting things up, researching what gym I'm going to, having a long-term plan. So again, it takes time. So I want you to release the limitations and just be mindful and aware and notice how your ego is immediately saying, you can't do that, you don't have time. You don't have time and blah, 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 blah. That's BS, man. If you really want it and it's important to you, you will make time. Because again, what if you spend 20 minutes a day on it over the next five years? 20 minutes a day, you can do. And if you don't feel that you can do it, well then, what you think you wanna do probably isn't your real purpose. Because if it is, and it, then it's something you're excited about. And that's another sign is that you will be so excited to get it, get started. Going back to my example, I'm so excited excited to get started. I put in my two weeks without <laughs> having a plan. I was like, oh dang man, I was like, I need to slow it down and like be more pragmatic in my approach. So something that you absolutely love doing, that you're naturally good at, and you've always kind of had a little bit of an extra skill or inclination or up uh, up level on everyone else that's doing this thing, and that it's timeless. So you can do all that good sign. Those are three good signs. And then release the expectations and come out with a detailed plan and understand this is a process. Uh, what I've come to also notice is that what we're doing here is we're building for the future. And if you think about building for the future, you think about a building in general, a skyscraper, right? A skyscraper is only as strong as its foundation. So the time you spend on building it step by step and building the foundation is literally setting the stage for how successful and how high you can grow with this vision that you're connecting with. So another thing I wanna to say too is, you know, if it's something you've never done before or that you know, you're interested in but you don't have the skills, you know, but it's something that's always been inside you, like, God, I wanna try that. An example for me is uh, I thought I wanted to get into art and like painting and I still do kind of just as fun. Uh, but as I started to get into it, I was like, ah, this isn't really me. I'm like, yeah, this is, you know, it's fun. And I think it's just cool as like a release relaxation exercise for me. But that's not really what my purpose is. But the point I want to make is if it's something you're interested in, just dip your toes in it, right? I mean, I bought a sketchbook and some pencils. I was watching videos, took a couple of courses on Udemy and I was right drawing and it was cool and I got better. But it wasn't like a real passion like when I feel when I step onto the gym floor or when I'm messing with weights. I feel like a big kid uh, in a playground, literally. And that's a big sign too. Like you just feel like a kid. It's great. Um, so dip your toes in if it's something that you do uh, or that you're interested in you want to try. You don't have to go all in at once. One more important thing that I want to say to you uh, as we start this journey and you're starting to connect and ask the right questions is I want to bring up friends, families, coworkers, other people around you. When you what I would invite you to do is, you know, unless it's someone that you really know you can trust, like a you know, a spouse or a you know, a close friend or a family member, um, and even then it might be a friend or a family member that starts hating on the idea. When you start to really connect with your life purpose and you start to elevate and want to better yourself, 
Uh, the hard truth of it is a lot of people don't want you to succeed. And it's not that they don't want you to succeed and be happy. They care about you. They want you to. What I want you to understand is what's happening is you're ready to grow. You're ready to ascend. You're ready to move on to the next stage of your life. We've been so programmed to live in comfort, to live in mediocrity and comfort that when somebody you know around you or around them starts to want to grow, it triggers them to feel uncomfortable because it's a reminder of everything that they're not doing. So they might start talking trash, they might start talking behind your back, they might say, oh, you can't do that, and basically just listen because what they're gonna be doing is they're gonna pre be projecting their limitations onto what your goals are. We ain't worry about that, man. Don't hear any of that noise. You respectfully say, okay, okay. Nod your head and then go back, go back inside, man. This is your journey and your journey alone. I saw a, uh, a beautiful quote on uh, Instagram uh, and I'm, I'll paraphrase it, but it said, some journeys you have to take alone. No partner, no family, no friends, just you and God. And that's what this is about, you know, and, and God in the sense of the universe or whatever religion or, you know, uh, thing you follow, you know, the source, right? Whatever that is to you, you just got to take this journey alone. This is your journey and your journey alone to take. No one else is going to do it for you. No one else is going to care about it as much as you. They may hate on you. They might not support you, whatever. Uh, but I think it's either the Dalai Lama or, uh, or Gandhi that said, you know, first they hate you, uh, you know, then they love you, then they want to be you or something like that. And that's really what it is. Um, so you're going to trigger people's, people's comfort zones. And you have to also understand that this is a journey you're taking alone. And then as you grow, as you ascend, you're honestly going to be shedding people, jobs, situations. This is a major life transition and change that you're about to embark upon. Uh, just know that you are not alone. That's why I am here sharing my experiences and my examples with you to let you know uh, some things that you may or may not encounter uh, and just to kind of give you some guidelines and some tools that have worked for me. So specifically what has helped me kind of connect with that stuff, start by asking the question. You've already done that. That's why you're watching this video. Uh, meditation has been invaluable to me and continues to be because what that does as you become aware of your thoughts, you're clearing your mind and opening up the space for that divine intuition, that little voice inside of you from your heart that says, I wanna do this, I wanna do this, I've always wanted to do this. The quieter you can get your mind through meditation, the louder that voice will get. The louder that voice gets from your heart, the more you know you're on the right track. And then these other roadmaps, timeless, good at it, yada yada, that's when you know you're on the right track and you're doing the right thing. You are not alone but just be mindful of these things about people projecting their limitations onto you, wanting to hold you down. That's why for me, I've chosen to keep a lot of this stuff private. I'm at the point now though, uh, and I hope you reach this, I can't speak to it because I'm not there yet, but what I'm experiencing now is I really don't give a shit anymore what other people think. Uh, I'm about to start, I just fired up my Instagram again, connected it to my Facebook, I'm just gonna start blasting it, you know, love it or hate it, I just don't care anymore because I know that I'm in alignment with my purpose and I'm here to spread joy and love and help people with their mind and their body and improving their life. And I know that, um, so I just don't care anymore. So I hope that you can reach that level of freedom as well and I'm confident you will, especially when you connect with your true purpose, you won't, you won't care. There's a quote that I like from the late, great Dr. Wayne Dyer and he says, you have to be independent from the good opinions of other people. So here those limitations come, people projecting, you're, you're, you're triggering them. Uh, you got to be independent of the good opinions of those other people in your life. Uh, again, you're not alone. You, it's you know, success is not easy. This journey it can be lonely at times, but do it. It will be worth it. There's nothing more that will fill your heart and soul and make you happier in this life, and probably bring you all the dreams and rewards, financially, materially, spiritually, whatever that you want when you connect to it. Uh, what you really want to do and you start pursuing it. So that's it for today. Um, thank you so much for listening. Uh, if you guys you know, want to talk to me, please send me an email. Any questions, feel free to comment anything. And again, I would appreciate it if you like, subscribe, so that I can get this into the YouTube algorithm and share it with as many people as possible so that we can light the world up, man, and help as many people as we can. Uh, my name's Pierce. You have a wonderful rest of your day, and we will see you next time. Peace.